you know, everybody's always asked me, why don't you like Roblox? And, you know, I don't really blame them for asking that question, because in my videos, I sometimes really get mad at Roblox. And it's stupid reason or stupid things like this that make me not like Roblox. Because if you haven't already read the title, I was banned for three fucking days for giving my opinion on a guy called Tremity. Now, if you don't know who Tremity is, he's the guy who makes those games and falls in the steps of Julius Cole. He makes games around the lines, uh, around the line of adopt a baby and raise a family, and that's obviously kid fucking friendly. But if you were to say have a kid and raise a family, you would get banned. So however the fuck that works, it 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 just works. You know that the whole adoption thing just slides by Roblox, and um. That's basically who he is, and I talked about how he does this little bait and switch bullshit. Basically, when his game starts getting, you know, not popular and people downvote it because they don't want to see that shit on the front page, but it gets there because retards play it. He just re-uploads his game, like he he just makes a new game with the same fucking content, the same shit, and then it gets back up to the front page, and he just keeps doing this every time he starts losing popularity. The, it, there's been times where he's gone to Julius Cole, and Julius Cole has offered to teleport people from his game into Tremity's game to jumpstart it and get it onto the front page. But there's nothing wrong with that in Roblox opinion, but simply talking about that on the forums is a personal attack and a personal argument. Fuck you. Seriously, Roblox, fuck you. So, what I basically said was, I, I pointed out the exact thing that I just said. Now, the reason I don't have that thread anymore is because it was deleted by the beautiful moderators of ATR who spend more time moderating the fucking form than the goddamn website. And when that thread was removed and g they gave me a warning, this is what I posted in return to that. Warning 596, because that's how many times I've been fucking warned. I'm just being sarcastic there. Remember, kids, don't say anything bad about Lawlerus, the guy who made the Mad Murderer, Tremity, the guy who was just talking about, or Julius Cole, the one who took the town of Roblox, and then took credit for it and bashed the fucking deceased air castle of your goddamn website. Don't worry about those people. Or just anyone, because that obviously means you're personally attacking them. Also, if you don't like an update that is a personal argument, just remember not to say anything bad on the forums, otherwise you will upset the moderator's little fragile hearts. And I think that last bit kind of proves that they're fragile when it comes, like that, that they have little fragile little hearts. Because I was banned for three days for simply saying that. And then if you look down just a little bit more, you have me saying, aren't PAs fun? We use them at school all the time. So I was joking because the, the, ad, the moderators love to label everything on this website a personal argument or a personal attack. You know, if you don't like an update, personal argument. If you don't like what a player is doing, like not, when I say you don't like what a player is doing, I'm not saying like you hate him because of his appearance or because he said something to you. May, because you don't like what he is doing, say, with his game. That is considered a personal attack. Simply mentioning their fucking name in the forum post is a personal attack to Roblox. So I'm really starting to think one of the main reasons why the moderators aren't doing anything about these stolen fucking games is is because if you're trying to bring it up on the forums, that's a personal argument. Because that's how they work. They'd rather ban you for giving your opinion on a thing called on on the forum called all things roblox because it's just a bit negative rather than do something about what's wrong rather than leave like an open like if somebody says something stupid on on atr and it's roblox related rather than let there be a discussion on it so that person can be corrected you would rather ban them or give them a warning that way you don't have to deal with it being up on the on the forum like what harm does that do if somebody says something stupid on the forums somebody's obviously going to correct them but you won't allow that to happen now will you because you're going to call that a personal argument or a personal attack so where where do you draw that fucking line in the sand well 
let me give you what the, their little policy on uh, personal arguments or personal attacks. So it says, reminder, personal attacks are not allowed. Don't like a game? Fine. Nothing's stopping you from saying so. It's better, however, if you can provide a reasonable or a reasoned argument for why you don't like it. So, if you talk shit about a game that is labeled Raise a Family, and like like raise a family and adopt a kid and if you say anything bad about that and you just so happen to mention the creator's name that's a personal attack so basically I have to simply talk about the title and if anybody asks who makes it I can't say that because it's a personal attack on him but when you attack the creator of a game you don't like or you don't like or trash talk about other players or even Roblox staff, that's where we draw the line. Personal attacks are forbidden and will earn you a well deserved ban. Keep it up and you could lose your account altogether. So me talking about a game that is obviously not really kid friendly and kind of promotes online dating, that the fact that I may mention a person's name in it. It's where you draw the fucking line in the sand. You're quicker at removing my thread than removing the fucking game itself. Which I find very funny. It's like, you always have a close eye on that fucking form, but that game's page just goes unmoderated. I'm starting to think that one of the main reasons why these nasty sex places are taken off the front page is because people talk about them on the forums. Because if they didn't, the moderators probably wouldn't even fucking talk about it. They wouldn't even worry about it. I mean, they even acknowledge that games like the Town of Roblox here are unconvincing and fucking misleading. Because there's nothing new in it. There's nothing different. There's nothing unique. There's nothing advanced. But they still let it be on the front fucking page. <sighs> this is why I don't like Roblox. You're always asking for a reason. Here's a reason. For trying to give your opinion on a thing called All Things Roblox, talking about a subject on Roblox, you can be warned, and if you proceed to do it again, same post, because you think that, that, that having your thread removed and you warning, warned is unjustified, you will then receive a three-day ban. And don't even say, send a fucking appeal. Don't even say that, because we all know that appeal system is broken as hell. By the time you get a fucking reply, you're already unbanned. You know, you may say, send a message to info at Roblox. I did. You know what I got back? An automated message by, guess who? Roblox customer service. No actual person was there. They just sent me a fucking automated piece of text. So, nothing you can do on that end. Because they, they, they've set it up so you can't criticize anything on ATR. You can't criticize any updates if you don't like a price floor or anything like that. If somebody, like, if you make a thread that's well thought out about the price floor, like when it first came out, if somebody in there, like some idiot, starts a riot and says, hey, everybody, riot, 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 and then you get all that's people, you know, we're, we're not going to play Roblox anymore, woohoo, I'm going to log off Roblox for a year, then they're back the next day. They're going to say that, the admins are going to say that that's a everything sucks thread. As in the people in the thread are simply saying that everything on Roblox sucks. So you're going to have your thread removed because those people were talking about it. You know, any fucking reason that these admins can find to remove your thread if it's criticizing one of their updates or even the people on their game. And you guys wonder why I don't like Roblox. I continue to play it for the games. And you may say, well, is that all you play it for, for the games? Why don't you build something? You know, why don't you spend your time doing something else? Why the fuck would I want to build? You know, if you have seen any of my videos, you'll know that there's a big fucking problem with copying and stealing right now. Just look at Janarly, or Jan Larry, whatever the fuck his name is. He can take Dry Blocks Unlimited. Which is an, obviously a copyright game because he found some guy who just exploited it. And he can get away with that. He can make 10 million visits off of it. Nobody's going to fucking care about that. Shalitsky himself says that if if this game is if the game is stolen it's on the front page, you'll remove it. Why isn't that fucking game gone? Explain that to me. You want to hear another funny thing about Shalitsky? 
just today he posted a video where he went to a a game called Lawlerus Simulator. You know how I was talking about Lawlerus, the guy who made the Mad Murderer? Yeah, not many people like him because he's practically ripping off an idea from Gary's Mod. Because all these fucking popular games, it's either Prop Hunt or Gary's Mod or Hide and Go Seek. You know, it, it's always been on fucking Gary's Mod. You're just transferring it on the Roblox. Yeah, that guy that I'm talking about. Well, see, somebody made a simulator game called Lawler Simulator. And when you join the game, basically, you get to roll around in money. And they're practically making fun of it, you know, how his, how he, you know, he has tons of money from this game and all that. Um, and Too Rich For You and Unoriginal Game, blah, 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 blah. Shulecki plays this game, he films it, and he films himself rolling around in the money, and then he cracks a joke saying, you know, needs more babes in it. Now, if I were to say that Lawlerus has a bunch of money off an unoriginal game on the forums... I would get fucking banned. But Shuletsky rolling around in money? That's that, 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 that's not a problem. Because if I were to simply mention the fucking name Lawlerus on, on, on the forums in a negative way, I would be banned. But if Shuletsky goes to this game, then th that's okay. And th th this brings me back to my point. There's no fucking moderation on this games page. They don't care about what goes on the games page, but they're always moderating the fucking forums. I'm Coast Productions. Thank you for.